Hello folks, kind of an ironic video because it's the middle of my day. I just stopped to take a little break, grab me a bite to eat, <clears throat> something to drink. Um, but the topic of this video is going to be endings. Everything comes to an end. Um, regardless of what it is, it has a beginning, it has a middle, it has an end. Sometimes it's not that long. Sometimes it's quite a long time. It just depends on what it is and what's going on. The only thing that I can really think of that doesn't have an ending is time. Time goes on regardless. But, you know, we've only figured out this time thing a couple of thousand years ago, so who's really to say if time doesn't end? I mean, that's, that's the big question is how do you know that time isn't going to end? You know, it just, all this is just going to implode into a big old dark hole and go away. But that's getting really deep. Um, so I was right and I was thinking because, you know, relationships in, movies in, your best restaurants you like to eat in, they close down and go away. They end. Careers end. People end. And, you know, what What do we do all this for? Why, why do we do this? Why do we run around and make ourselves crazy with this little bit limited time that we have on Earth? Um, not being happy. Um, I've been called angry. Being angry all the time. You know, why, why do it to ourselves? Why don't we just, you know, find something that makes us happy and go to that place and just stay there and, and not worry about it because you know like this video is about it, it's gonna end uh it's gonna end shortly because if you think of your life on the timeline all right what has it been 10 million years they say or something like that 20 million years for the earth all right well that's that long i mean that's let's say it's that long <clears throat> all right, let's say that you live 90 years. All right, here's 20 million years. Your 90 years is in between my fingers that is pressed together pretty damn hard right there. That's your 90 years and the 20 million. So you're only here for a blip on the timeline. You're not here for long at all. <clears throat> and some people's not even here for that amount of time I mean it's just it comes and goes super quick so which like I said before you know these videos I do for my granddaughters that way they have an insight on what I'm doing and how I did it and I'm not expecting to get rich from these videos. I don't want to get famous from these videos. This is just an outlet for me to voice myself, my opinion, show show what I'm doing day to day, week to week, whatever. Uh, that way, you know, I wish that I had this technology back when my dad was alive, when my grandfather's was alive, because I would love to look back on videos to see what they did from week to week. <coughs> what they were thinking, how they thought. I, I really, I didn't get to know my granddad's. Um, one of my mom's side was dead long before I was thought of. Uh, I kind of knew my granddad on my dad's side. It wasn't for too long. Um, then he was gone. So, you know, I, I really didn't get to know my grandparents. Um, my, my daughter was very fortunate. She had her she had my mom and dad all of her life up until the last five years and my dad's been gone for five years uh her mother's parents passed uh rather early which you know that's uh, again that's the ending so and yeah this this video is brought on because you know there's there's things that's ended for me and the the past and there's things that's that's coming up to end um so
But like I said, this is the middle of my day. Um, I'm going to come back to you at the end of my day. I'll let you look at what I'm hauling today, uh, which this load will be coming to an end Monday. So that's ironic, isn't it? Or no, it'll be coming to an end Tuesday. I'm sorry, but Tuesday it'll come to an end. So uh, I'll give you all some shots of that right there when I end my day. Like I was telling you guys earlier, all things come to an end. That's what I'm hauling. This load will be over with Tuesday. It's two Bobcats, two excavator Bobcats. <clears throat> There's my truck, I finally got it back. Brand new engine, runs like a dream. Uh, it's dirty, excuse the mess. Okay, let's see. How do I get this bastard to turn around? But, like I was talking earlier, everything comes to an end. It doesn't matter what it is. These brand new, these are brand new Bobcats I got back here. Their lifespan is probably about 10 years at the most. Uh, those two little bucket bobcats in the back, uh, I give them a lifespan of about probably three to five years, depending on how they're used. The excavators on the front, they'll probably go a little longer. They may go 10, maybe 15 years. Uh, but that's their life cycle. Uh, that's just, um, what kind of a run they'll have. Uh, hell, they might not even make it past the first year before they catch on fire and burn down. Who knows? Uh, that's just a life cycle. Uh, you know, but the moral of the story is everything comes to an end. Time keeps on ticking. You can't control time. People often wonder if they can travel back in time. No, you can't. Uh, I was watching some videos the other day, and it's, oh, look, there's time travel. Look, they're using a cell phone in 1939. No, they, they really, if you think about it, that's just completely impossible impossible the technology wasn't there uh, they did not have transponder towers uh, emitter towers um, th this no way possible whatsoever for that kind of technology to even work back then um, hell the cop cars rarely did have radio to station uh, CBs in them, uh, you know, if they went down a little valley, their radios didn't work from the cop car to back to the station so they could talk to the station. Um, so, you know, how in the hell was a, a modern day cell phone going to work 70 years ago, 80 years ago? It, it's just not a possibility. Time travel, you, you can't do it, especially to the past and use modern technology then. Um, traveling to the future well the future hasn't happened yet and it hasn't um so i don't believe we can go into the future because the future is constantly changing so how do you know which uh part of the future you're gonna land in which timeline are you gonna land on every time i hit a bug out here a bug crashes into my windshield that changes things everything's changed um you know you're walking across a lot you step on a bug well that changes things Everything is changed by our actions. And the future is not certain, nor is it given. I could die tonight in my sleep. I could die 10 minutes from now. It does, you know, and that's gonna change the future. My future is not gonna exist. Everybody else is gonna keep on going until their time is up. And that's all there is to it. So that's just something to think about. And you know, my end is coming, especially with this truck and bit. Like I said, I've got a brand new motor in this truck. Its timeline is about 10 years, between seven to 10 years. So this truck's gonna take me to the end of my trucking career if personally I can hold out that long. Uh, that's a big question right there, can I? Because I feel bad. I don't know what's going on with me. Um, I just, I don't feel good at all. <clears throat> I think there's something seriously wrong. And 
nevertheless, that's just the way it is. And like I said, I do these videos for my granddaughters because I'm the only grandpa they got left. I am the only one they got left. Um, their grandfather on their dad's side, uh, he was actually a step grandfather. He passed away. It's been probably about three weeks to a month ago now. Complications of COVID. Of course, my dad's been gone for four years, five years now. Um, and it's just me. I'm it. And I'm not feeling too healthy myself. So, yeah, it is what it is. Maybe uh, I won't do a nose dive and I can pull up out of this and continue on for a few more years. But let's be optimistic. Maybe I just won't wake up in the morning. Yeah, that's a pretty sad optimism, but you know, the way my life has went in the past few years, that would probably be best for me, folks. It really would. Um, not saying that I want to die, but that would be just the best way for it to go. I mean, I'm doing what I like. I'm on top of the game. And, you know, I was always told, uh, if you're going to go out, go out on top. Well, here I am. I'm, I'm making the absolute most money I've ever made in my life. I'm on top. Um, yeah, I got some shitty situations going on in my life right now, but no reason to take myself out. Uh, but, you know, if nature's going to take me out, let's go. Come on, baby. Grab on, let's go. But anyways, I'll probably do another one of these videos later in the week to let y'all know how it turned out. If I don't do another one of these videos, well, you pretty much know how it turned out. So, for now, it's the end.